Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Monica and I'm a photographer based in New York City. So, the camera we're gonna be talking about today is the Lomography Lomo Apparat. Okay, disclaimer, I was sent the camera to test for three weeks, but my opinions are all my own. This is all I shot for three weeks. Look at her, she is a beauty. This is a 35 millimeter point and shoot camera that has a fixed lens of 21 millimeter, f10, and a shutter of 1 100 of a second. This does have a bulb, so if you want a long exposure, you can do that. And it also has a multi exposure, not just double exposure, you can literally have layer it on, go to town with it. It's amazing. My favorite part about this camera is that it does have multiple gels. So you can really get creative with this if you want. You can layer gels to have that like trippy look to your photos. So the best part is it came with filter attachments. So it has the kaleidoscope lens, which is super fun. And there's also a close-up lens, which I kind of wish I used more. Um, but I really just enjoyed the 21 millimeter wide angle kind of view and the splitter isn't this so cool you can actually shoot half frame if you want and if you want like you know crazy shapes um, on your photos you can actually do that Before you do that, you gotta do multi exposure and then switch to the other side. And then shoot again. Well, it would make Sundays in Brooklyn. This camera takes one AA battery and it's to power the flash. And another thing, there's no ISO adjustment. So, whatever film you put in there, you're going to be shooting the film on box speed. When you turn it on, when you put it on N or bulb, this light will turn green automatically this is the flash switch if you don't want the flash you can just click it but if you do want it on you can just click it again still have a black and white film that I haven't developed from this camera if you want to see those definitely follow me on Instagram just to show you that this is also good for black and white as well so the first time I used this camera I used a Lomography 400 it's only fitting it's a Lomography camera it performed really well during the daylight but when we were actually in the museum it was really hard to gauge the bulb and also I was kind of just getting a feel of what I can do with the camera so the inside shots are pretty much a total fail they're all worthless the next roll I used was Kodak Ultra Max and this is really when I took my time and experimented with the flash flash outside versus flash indoors it has a completely different feel just an FYI if you wanted to know how I created these images if you kind of want an effect like this where the background is a different color than the subject you should really do this outside. My friend Daryl is right in front of me, super close, and the background has the sky. The same goes for my image here. In Brooklyn, this was taken outdoors with the red gel, I believe, and the wall was green versus these two images that were both taken in the dark. When you use the gel in complete darkness, it colors the whole scene so you can't really get that separation from the subject and the background there were no edits that were done uh, with these photos I mean I have a couple of cons this wrist strap so I like it aesthetically it's great it's kind of loose so you still have to really be careful when you're holding this camera and there's no grip here so that's added caution when you are taking photos with this i took photos in the winter and this gets really cold so unless you like put it over your jacket 
or a long sleeve shirt this gets super cold it's not a big deal and the second thing that i kind of dislike flip this kind of lever right here and this is how you rewind the film after it's done ergonomically it's not as convenient it's easiest thing to rewind honestly and the last thing that i kind of wish it was a little better but it's really not a big deal um when you're loading the film you have to look out for this notch on the top and there's a notch right here on the bottom make sure that the film is grabbed by those notches or else the film won't advance also to note when you do get the camera don't be alarmed that the camera is not working you actually need to load the film here before you can even press the shutter or advance the film without it it's just it goes on forever and it kind of seems like it doesn't work but it i assure you it works i was worried about when i received this camera i thought i received a faulty camera it's really not that it's just the way it's built this camera is very experimental you buy this camera to have a good time there's nothing serious about this camera and i think you know if you're a photographer you're a professional photographer and you kind of just need some like spice in your photography life like you don't want to be too serious i think this is so perfect to just kind of you know pick up and go i feel like the three weeks that i used this camera it really kind of you know brought the joy back into photography for me because it's it's literally like it was so fun to use because it's so easy i really didn't have to think about it i mean the only thing that i really had to think about was like what color gels i want to use for the flash or what attachment i wanted to use some people say that it's kind of like a disposable camera i don't think so i think this camera performed way better than i expected i'm actually going to buy the black one as gifts because it's just like a really good gift especially for people who are just starting or who want to get into film photography there's nothing intimidating about it either let me know in the comments below if you've used this camera before or you are thinking about buying the camera also let me know if there are any other lamography items or products you swear by right now i'm into lomo 800 and 400 since this camera i'm definitely looking into more of their cameras because this is so good i really just want you guys to have a really good experience taking photos again just to have a good time it's not that serious just have fun out there that's all i have today if you haven't yet do check out my instagram you don't have to follow me but definitely check it out i will post the black and white photos from the lomo apparat there and if you have any questions you can dm me on instagram as well you can also follow me on tiktok and on vero and if you're curious and you want to see my body of work this is my website and the links to my print shop and my merch is also there. Thanks so much for watching and as always, stay cool and stay chill. We'll talk soon. Listen, you don't have to get an espresso machine. You just need to get a milk frother. My life changed since I got a milk frother. I should probably start a GoFundMe for an espresso machine. <laughs>